All right, I thought I would do a series. Um, people have been asking for this sort of, um, and I'm going to take a spin on it, but people have wanted me to show all the steps from uh, creating a circuit and going into KiCad and making a board, getting the boards ordered and all that other kind of stuff. They, they kind of want to see the whole design process. And so I thought I would do one just for fun. So um, I showed these on the channel a while back, these inside are some RF goodies. Um, and that's not important. What's important is the box. <laughs> and uh, I went back to the store and they had more of them. So I bought, I bought three more of them. So I've got a few now. And I thought I would use these. So, so that's, that's the first step. The first step is to visualize what the product is going to be. So we're going to do a prototype. And the prototype will be in this box. So there's SMA connectors on it. And there's a power connection on it. So the idea is to build a power amplifier. Um, and so it'll have an input and an output. This one has an extra thing. Maybe we'll do something with that, but we have an input and an output. And uh, then we have some ways of inputting uh, two voltages in ground. So we got plus and minus voltages or just one plus voltage or whatever, whatever we want, we want inside. So, so step one is that we pick the box so that it's got to fit inside here. Okay. And so what do we want to do? Well, we're going to build an amplifier. So the last time I ordered some parts on DigiKey, I was just looking around and I found these things and I thought they would make a good project. All right. So uh, they are a monolithic amplifier. So they have a package like this. These are made by mini circuits and uh, it's a 21 dB gain at 0.8 gigahertz. So it's flat response from 50 megahertz to 4,000 megahertz, otherwise known as four gigahertz. And uh, it's got a one dB compression plus 19 dBm, blah, 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 blah. So it's a pretty healthy little part. And uh, it's uh, very easy. It's just uh, uh, in, out and ground. That's what's on the, on the package in, out and ground. He said, well, what about voltage? Don't you need to have a voltage? So the way that you use these things is, um, you, uh, AC block them. So, so no DC can get into the input or the output, but then you put in a path for DC to get into the output. Um, and it's basically, uh, let's see here. Let me get something. Imagine that you have a part. Okay. So this is just some, oops. This is just some random part and the part has in it a, uh, uh, an NPN transistor. Okay. And this is a pin and this is a pin and this is a pin. So what do we have? We have an in out and a ground. Okay. And we're going to AC couple the input and we're going to AC couple the output, but the, uh, transistor is not going to work unless we have some bias voltage on it. Right? So we need to, we need to pull this up to uh, some voltage and then this thing will work. And you think, well, maybe we need to have some biasing over here too, to make it work. Um, and um, in an RF circuit, what we're going to do is we're going to use an inductor to bring the power in. Instead of a resistor, we're going to use an inductor. And what that'll do is it'll bring in DC, but it'll block AC. So when the RF comes out, it won't go this way. It'll go this way. And so that's the way you use these things and they're self biasing and they all work like that. And there's some type of, uh, uh, probably gallium arsenide uh, or something in here. Let's see. Uh, da, da, da. uh, this is indium gallium phosphate. Um, so in gap H B T technology. So it's a pretty, pretty nice part, uh, pretty fancy stuff. And, uh, the price was right. Uh, they were, they were pretty cheap you know, around $2 or something like that. I don't know. Maybe less than $2. Uh, so, uh, this price on here. No price is not price is not on here. So that's going to be our project. Okay. And so let's take a look at one. Let's break the, uh, break the seal on the bag. Here. And it's in there somewhere held in with static. Static three bags, there's half stack. No, <laughs> there it is. All right, and there's three of them. Yay. Uh, tiny little packages. 
let's uh, zoom down on it here. And uh, yeah, so it's got three legs and then a power tab. And uh, so you should hook it up to some amount of copper to sink the uh, sink the heat away from it. The, the tab is, is ground, so it makes it easy. Should be easy layout. We'll have an impedance controlled PC board um, and uh, go from there, okay? So that's going to be the project. Uh, what else there is in the data sheet here? Gain, oops, I gotta zoom back out again here. Uh, gain 22 dBm to 15 dBm, yeah, up at 6 gigahertz. Uh, it starts to fall off, it's only 16 dB again at 6 gigahertz, but it'll, it'll operate in there. Uh, return loss, typical return loss is around 25, so that's very, very good matching. Output return loss around 16 to 20, very, very good. The data compre uh, the uh, a 1 dB compression point is around plus 16 dBm, so that's pretty healthy. The output can go up to plus 30 dBm, uh, very nice. And uh, noise figure and device operating. So it is a five volt part, so that's really handy too. Device operate five volts, so we'll have a five volt uh, 20 dB gain plus 20 dBm, uh, nice little amplifier, should be handy. And uh, we'll design it to go inside this box, okay?